the vision of the Global Imam Scholars Council is to um, empower the Imams and scholars uh, globally so that they can fulfill their responsibility of becoming the inheritors of the prophets and messengers so they can serve their respective communities with a unified vision. I can say this retreat is an opportunity uh, as a new organization, an opportunity to bring all the councils together, to uh, get a feel for each other, to create a bond amongst each other. And at the same time, I believe uh, it's an opportunity uh, to unify our opinions, our understandings, uh, our efforts, and establish a sound foundation from day one. The Global Imams and Scholars Council was established for the purpose of bringing Imams from countries where Muslims are minorities there. We face the exact same challenges, we share the exact same experiences and it's important for us to come together and share those experiences with one another and work together how can we overcome those challenges that we all face. At the same time we see the importance of Imams coming together to establish that bond and brotherhood and bring that hope and optimism to the Ummah that the Muslim scholars and Imams are united not only in one uh, country but alhamdulillah globally and also it's important for us to start thinking about how can we preserve the traditional understanding of Islam and the Global Imams and Scholars Council is about preserving the traditional understanding of Islam for now and generations to come. We have come here and we have gathered here for the first in-person meeting of the Global Imams and Scholars Council. This is our first in-person meeting although we have been meeting and doing online meetings to form this global platform council for the Imams and scholars. And it is such a beautiful occasion that we have gathered here first time and we're discussing about the matters of Ummah. We're here to, uh, for the first time in person to meet, to strengthen our relationship, to make sure that we are in the same page for whatever we have been talking about in the past couple of years since we started talking about creating this platform of uh, GISC, the Global Imams and Scholars Council. It's a, a political, meaning non-political organization that brings all different councils, all different ulama organizations together and you, unites them under one platform where they can all work together to achieve uh, common goals and objectives. Uh, and there are many other items that the Ummah at this moment in time need. And most of the organizations, they are localized, they have uh, geographical limitations, but uh, uh, this organization, inshallah, will have a more global uh, uh, reach and a global impact, inshallah. Well, the Global Imam Scholars Council is meant to create a platform of, uh, of unity amongst the ulama from the various uh, countries. And remember, its formation is uh, 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 based upon organizational uh, participation, um, unifying the national structures from the various countries to bring our resources, alhamdulillah, rabbil alameen, together and um, how best as a, uh, as a Muslim uh, group of ulama can we address uh, issues that we are confronted with uh, as a Muslim ummah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The retreat is that since uh, the last few years the Global Scholars and Imams Council have been meeting virtually and obviously with regard to being in meeting virtually there are certain limitations. You can discuss certain things but uh, vision, uh, mission statements, objectives, uh, future programs cannot be discussed at length virtually. So therefore this retreat was to get together to be able to chart a way forward with regard to the visions, the mission, the objectives, the programs with regard to the Global Imams and Scholars Council, which uh, thus far has been very, very productive. The vision is to be the body or the platform that bring the Imams and Scholars Councils together to share ideas, finding solutions, and sharing resources 
for the similar challenges the Muslim minorities in the West they face day in and day out. The vision of the Global Imams Council is to help ulama from throughout the globe fulfill the responsibilities uh, of Warathatul Anbiya, of being the heirs and inheritors of the Anbiya Ali Musalatu Wasalam. So it is about empowering uh, our colleagues, it is about uh, creating a platform where ulama and scholars from around the globe uh, could exchange ideas, pool their intellectual resources and uh, talk to the very many issues that impact on Muslims around the globe.